Hi, welcome to Graham Estate. At our farm, we produce wine and wool, as well as a few other products that are still in development. We are new to the farming adventure, and I'm pretty excited to show you about it. We, just this spring, got our first lambs, ewe lambs, they are Old English South Down, and um, next spring we'll be producing wool textiles from their wool, as well as expanding the flock. So that's very exciting. I'd love to show you our lambs. So here we go. We use sheep netting to rotate our pastures, giving the sheep new areas to graze in. Next spring, we will have more pasture because we're going to clear some more land for them to have fresh grass. They're there. There's Bella, Peep. And they have a few other ah! inside the barn. So I designed the barn myself, sent a floor plan, and the barn builder, builders built it for me, except for the inside, which I had to learn from YouTube. They're hungry, so I'll give them something to eat and show you our chickens. Are our silky chickens. We have two hens, two roosters. We didn't know we had roosters, but we do. And yeah. A little extra ventilation for those hot summer days, but they seem to like it. And it's my first experience in building a barn. So, in the spring, we will learn sheep shearing, and we've already figured out how to do vaccinations and hoof trimming, which I will show you later on in our video. of a woven wool textile um, just to show you what it would look like what we're planning to produce this is not ours I picked this one up in Scotland and it actually is our clan tartan for Graham um, but just a sample of what a woven wool textile would look like Since I've shown you the wool, I thought I'd show you our wine portion of our farm. This is the beginnings of our vineyard. We had to select carefully the variety of vines because we're so close to the ocean. We're only about 20 meters uh, above sea level and um, and the, the soil and the climate is affected greatly by being so close to the ocean. So um, we only produce white wine and these are the beginnings of our grapevines. We also have a small orchard and uh, we'll have some apples, some plums, and perhaps next spring try some pears. Also, the blueberries haven't gone in because we need a fence. We do need a fence. We have a lot of deer and rabbits and things that want to eat uh, the 15 blueberry bushes that are ready to go in. So we did produce, but they are currently fenced in a different area. And here are our grapevines. That's pretty exciting. We 
do fertilize these with seaweed and I'll show you next how we go and harvest a bit of seaweed from the rocks. We leave them attached, but I'll show you how we get some of the seaweed and just get some seaweed fertilizer for these grapevines. So we're going to collect some of the seaweed, the rock seaweed, it just grows on the rocks. And just cut some of the top parts off and let it keep growing. And it makes really, really good fertilizer. We'll put it in a bucket, a little bitty bucket, and then put it into a larger bucket with water and let it sit. And I'll show you. Here it is right here and it's generally attached to the rock if you see so it's attached and it's growing and if you just take some of the top parts off and cut that still attached and it just grows back. There you go. It's kind of like grass. And it makes super fertilizer. Well, thank you from all of us at Graham Estate. I'm Paige. I'm Leah. And I'm Isabella. And the sheep. We really appreciate you taking the time to take our tour. And thanks. If you have any questions, um, we'll include the links to Instagram and Facebook at the end. Thanks again.